हेलो वेलकम टू अवर चैनल डीवीके फिजिक्स क्लासेस राइट सो इन द लास्ट टू वीडियोस ऑन इलेक्ट्रिक चार्जेस एंड फील्ड्स इन वन वीडियो आई हैव गिवन जस्ट हाउ टू रिमेंबर द कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड फॉर कंटिन्यूस चार्ज डिस्ट्रीब्यूशंस राइट एंड द सेकंड वीडियो ऑलमोस्ट ऑल द फार्मूला and the basic concepts i have listed out in another video hope uh, you have gone through those videos and uh, today i am uh, going to give you how to solve these kind of questions just in a half minute okay just see the circuits here can you answer any one of them in just a half minute yes after going through this video you can answer so let me tell you how so how to do this kind of questions so even uh, just a half minute or even less than half minute okay right so that trick we are going to learn in this video right <clears throat> so before that means what here especially for a symmetric charge distribution see question number 1 i am giving you here i have three charges so it's an equilateral triangle of side length a here i am having q charge here q charge here q charge right so if you take a point at the centroid at the centroid of this equilateral triangle what is the net electric field e net is equals to 0 so how i can easily prove that so before that first of all how to find electric field at a point just uh, its electric field due to a point charge is given by q by 4 pi epsilon not r square right electric field due to a point charge what is r r is distance of the point from the point charge and field due to multiple charges is calculated by applying superposition principle right so now using that superposition principle we need to find out what is the net electric field at the required point right so now only thing is here we need to find out field due to charge 1 this charge 2 and this is charge 3 so due to these three charges what is the net electric field at point c we need to find out right so how to prove that the net electric field is zero here you just see due to charge 1 electric field at this point will be acting in this direction why because for a positive charge electric field is away or just a simple if wherever you want electric field at that point imagine a positive test charge if this test charge is repelled by this one then that is the direction of electric field okay right so now field due to charge 1 is this one and similarly field due to charge 2 will be in this direction e2 bar now the resultant of this 1 and 2 will be exactly in this direction okay resultant of 1 and 2 will be exactly in this direction now another third charge is there here its electric field will be exactly in this direction okay so that means what here e3 is equals to and opposite to e1 and e2 the resultant of e12 is e12 so e3 is equals to e12 and it is always opposite here in this case that means what sum of this e12 and e3 is zero okay right so how to prove it so that we can easily do it so how it, suppose here what is the angle here so 30 90 60 here 60 therefore total here also it is 120 so now field due to one charge if you find so here what is electric field here so e1 is equals to here q by 4 pi epsilon not let this distance is x right this is the point point distance from the charge is x so therefore it is x square so here how to get the value of x we just define cos 30 in this right because its total angle is 60 and this line is bisecting therefore it is 30 so if you define cos 30 so cos 30 value equals to c here total distance is a so from here to here it is a by 2 so therefore here a by 2 divided by hypotenuse is x so therefore now x is equals to a by 2 into cos 30 so cos 30 value equals to uh, root 3 by 2 root 3 by 2 2 2 gets cancelled therefore it remains a by root 3 so x value this is x this is also x and this is also x 
so therefore here uh, field value is equals to here how much it is now q upon 4 pi epsilon naught a uh, square and root 3 square means what here 3q so e1 is 3q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square right similarly e2 and e3 also will be the same okay so now e2 is also equals to the same 3q upon 4 pi epsilon naught a square so e1 e1 e2 the resultant will be in this direction why see these two are having same magnitude so therefore the resultant of two equal vectors is equals to 2 e1 cos theta by 2 so here it is 2 into e1 is how much it is 3q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught a square and what is angle between this 120 so one cos 120 by 2 cos 120 by 2 means what cos 60 cos 60 1 by 2 that 1 by 2 here 2 gets cancelled so therefore again this is equals to 3q upon 4 pi epsilon naught a square so resultant of 1 and 2 is also this one in which direction the resultant of two equal vectors bisects angle between the two vectors so one is in this direction two here e1 two is upside right now what is the field due to the third charge so field due to third charge is here vertically downward so now what is the value of e3 here so e3 is also here q by 4 pi epsilon naught x x means what again a square means a by root 3 square so root 3 square means 3 goes to numerator so resultant of e12 is 3q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square acting vertically upward and field due to third charge is the same value but acting vertically downward so if you add these two one is upward the other one is downward but equal magnitude therefore net electric field at the center will be zero so this is the proof to say that the net electric field at the centroid of this equilateral triangle is zero right now this is very important next one is based on this you just see what is the electric field at the centroid for all these right angle triangle uh, equilateral triangles if you see here now here minus q is there minus q is there minus q is there then what is the net electric field at the centroid so here 2q is there here 2q is there here also 2q is there now next one is so minus of 2q minus of 2q minus of 2q so in all these cases the net electric field at the centroid will be zero why so if the charges are identical means what if all the three charges are identical charges okay so what is the note point here so whatever may be the charge value at the corner of the triangle all of them must be of same type means what all of them must be either positive or negative second thing all of them must be having same value also so notice so if all the charges okay if all the charges at the corners or at the vertices of the triangle vertices of triangle are identical identical means what should be having same value should be having same sign either positive or negative one positive one negative no not valid okay uh, identical i'll tell you if it uh, changes if two are of same sign the other one is different sign then how to find out electric field that is the logic actually right so if all, all the charges at the vertices of triangle are identical then net field at center will be zero is zero now if you see all these cases so minus q minus q minus q so here minus 2q minus 2q minus 2q plus 2q plus 2q plus 2q or 4q 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 or nq 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 so whatever it may be if all the vertex charges are of same sign and having same value the net electric field at the center will be zero right okay now let me go for a different case now you just see can you find out the electric field at center due to this charge distribution q q and here, here no charge is there so here what is the net electric field at this point a at this point c what is the net electric field so find e net at c 
so how to calculate here this is simple see if q is also there here then net is zero if nothing is there here means what whatever magnitude of these two charges are giving same electric field should be given by this positive charge if it is there that means what say so already just now i have given proof now so its electric field is in this direction its electric field is in this direction and the resultant is equals to in this direction and that resultant is equals to a field of this q if it is there but now it is not there that means what here if q is there here it is cancelling out this value but now that third charge is not there that means what what is the resultant of these two fields it should be equals to the field of a single charge that is here so if you place a charge q here then what is its electric field here it must be equals to q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square into 3 okay so this is the electric field if you place a q charge q here its electric field is this much and that is cancelling out the resultant of these two so there means what e12 must also be equals to this one okay let it be a third charge here if you assume so e12 must be equals to e3 so what is e3 here so e3 will be this one so if the charge is there then net should be equals to zero if the charge is not there means what sum of these two charges fields must be equal to the field of this charge so simple so here if one charge is there due to that single charge what is the field at this point just now we found in the previous question it is 3q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square means what resultant of charges 1 and 2 okay is equal to the field of one single charge okay so e12 equals to e3 is equals to 3q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square means what now if the third charge is not there then the resultant of these two charges is equals to the field of this charge and field of that charge is nothing but this one okay why if all the three charges are identical the net must be equal to zero for the net to be zero its field must be equal and opposite to field of these two right so that's what this is 3q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square no need to calculate directly we can say right now next case is suppose here i am having one q another q here minus q is there a a a is there now what is the net electric field at point c find e net at c now how to find out so no need to do any process directly i can say it is equals to 2q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught a square how okay how okay now forget about this minus q charge okay if these two charges are considered only considered then what are their fields field will be exactly in this direction how much value it is having the third charge magnitude here if q if plus q is there total must be zero if plus q charge means what it should be equal and the opposite to e12 therefore the third charge electric field must be equal to how much it is it is q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square but here minus q is given so that means what resultant of these two is equal to this much which is acting upside and this negative charge is also having electric field in the same direction because for a negative charge field is towards the charge so now e3 is also in the same direction and resultant of e12 is also in same direction so therefore now net field is how much another 3q okay so e net is equals to okay this already we got it now right 3q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square right so here it is two times of actually the, i mean it is two times of field due to a single charge into here 2 will be there so it is 6q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught a square okay so here it is two times of one charge field okay so that means what here so if no charge is there here resultant of these two charges is equals to field of one charge at this point okay then if minus q charge is there in addition to the resultant of these two fields this second field is also coming in the same direction minus q so therefore double impact now so 3q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square plus again 4 3q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square 
okay so that means that's all so no need to do any parallelogram law of addition process and all now similarly you just see here again if i take here so here of q here of q here minus of 3q i am placing right then what is the net electric field at the centroid okay so what is e net at point c is how much so again the same thing if you first two don't consider minus 3q so this resultant of these two will be acting in this direction e12 and its value is equals to here 3q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square okay but in addition to that e12 minus 3q is also acting in the upward direction so therefore this is also e field due to minus 3q so now field due to minus 3q is how much so let it be third charge here first charge and second charge now field due to third charge is nothing but here so minus of three times of okay anyway negative sign i am indicating that electric field is upside so therefore again no need to take it because field is attractive for a negative charge that means what it is upside so therefore three times of field due to again a single charge this 3q charge how much it is 4 pi epsilon naught a square got it or not if only minus q is there its field is 3q upon 4 pi epsilon naught a square but here 3q is there therefore 3 into 3q so therefore here it is 9q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught a square so that is the net electric field at the point c got it or not first due to these two charges field is e12 that is 3q upon 4 pi epsilon naught a square but in addition to that minus 3 huge field is also there acting in the upside direction so due to one charge plus q what is the field 3q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square due to three times of that is equals to this much so now what is the net field so e net is equals to e12 plus e3 so e12 is how much again here it is 3q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square plus 9q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught a square so total is how much 12q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught a square so that is the net electric field at point c so no need to apply any parallelogram law nothing so direct just apply the logic if three charges are there net field must be equals to zero if only two charges are there then the resultant of these two fields must be equals to field of one charge okay instead of that if you place here a negative charge that negative charge field plus resultant of these two will be acting in the upside direction so therefore we can find out like that right now the same logic we can apply for a square type symmetric charges means what if four charges are uh, arranged at four corners of a square then what is the net electric field at center so here q is there here q here minus q or first, first let me give you for identical charges so here the intersection of the diagonals point so here e net at point c is equals to zero how you just see here if you imagine here a potash charge so this is repelled by this charge in this direction same this is rep this repels this one in this direction so distance is same charge values are same therefore equal and opposite magnitude so this cancels out next this is also cancels out this is also cancel out so therefore net field is equals to zero next here if you see here also minus q is there here minus q is there here minus q here minus q so again at point c here also e net is equals to zero why here if you assume a positive touch it will be attracted by this and the also attracted towards this also attract towards this also attracted by this one means what all four are getting cancelled pairwise they are cancelled out so next if you see here here 2q here q here 2q here q then what is the net field at this point c in that case also e net equals to zero why so field due to these opposite charges are cancelling and these two are also cancelling that means what here conclusion is if diagonally opposite charges are identical if diagonally opposite charges are identical then the net electric field at center will be zero right so conclusion is for a square for square 
okay square type arrangement symmetric arrangement of charges for square type symmetric arrangement of charges if diagonally opposite charges are identical diagonally opposite charges are all four need not be identical just diagonally opposite charges are identical identical means what they should be having same sign and they should be having same value also charges are identical then net electric field at center will be zero net electric field at the point of intersection of diagonals at the point of intersection of diagonals is equals to zero so that is the conclusion for square type diagonally opposite charges must be identical for triangle type all the three charges must be identical to have zero field at the center right so what are the examples so far we have done suppose see this one is minus of 3q minus of 3q plus 2q plus 2q so diagonally opposite charges are identical therefore e net at c is equals to zero okay so here all four charges need not be equal but if diagonally opposite charges are identical then net field equals to zero at point c right now based on this logic let us solve these questions now if you see here here q is there here q is there here qj so what find the electric field at this point four okay find e net at point four at this point four what is the net electric field simple so here these two charge fields gets cancels out because pairwise diagonally opposite charges so for for this uh, two charges net field is zero on this and only one charge is left therefore due to this one charge what is the field here at this point the same okay okay now i am talking about field here not at point uh, four let it be at point c okay at point four also we can find out no problem then it will not be uh, field will be there due to all the charges if you consider point four if you consider point c then these two fields gets cancels only field due to this charge will be left so therefore here in this charge ec okay let the charge is one two and three okay now charge uh, e1 and e3 cancels out okay then field due to e2 at a point c is equals to q by 4 pi epsilon naught x square so this is x so what is this x value x value is equals to a by root 2 how it is so if you take it this is 45 degrees angle and this one is a by 2 if you define cos uh, 45 degrees it is equals to a by 2 divided by x okay so therefore here x is equals to a by 2 cos 45 cos 45 is 1 by root 2 here 1 by 1 root 2 gets cancelled therefore a by root 2 will be left so therefore here x value is equals to a by root 2 so therefore in place of this x if you substitute that a by root 2 q by 4 pi epsilon naught a by root 2 square so if it goes to numerator 2 q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square is the electric field and that is also equals to the net field at point c okay diagonally opposite charge fields cancels out only one charge is left and its field is given by this formula right next one now suppose if you see here q is there q is there q is there and here minus q is there therefore here what is the net field at point c okay what is the net field at point c see these two are getting cancels because of equal magnitude opposite direction now due to this charge field will be in this direction because if you assume a test charge here it will be repelled by this means what in this direction now due to this charge it is attracted towards the negative charge therefore this is also in the same direction let it be 1 2 3 4 
so therefore here e1 and e2 are identical diagonally opposite charges therefore the e1 and e2 gets cancel okay so therefore field due to this and this both are in same direction so therefore here e net is equals to e2 plus e4 so e2 now we have found now it is equals to q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square and 2q and again plus 2q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square because field due to one charge just now we found right so now total it is 4q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square that is the net field at this point uh, c okay right now suppose here another distribution is there like this so minus 2q here q minus 2q here minus of 2q so therefore here what is the net electric field at point c e net at point c is equals to how much if you just see here diagonally opposite charge. see whenever square distribution is there always see the diagonally opposite charges so minus 2q minus 2q therefore these two fields gets cancels so therefore now plus q is there here minus 2q is there so plus due to positive charge field will be in this direction and due to negative charge also the field will be in the same direction so therefore due to charge due to one so let it be one two three four right so therefore again here e1 and e3 gets cancel always diagonal charges are identical then their field gets cancelled now due to this one so how much it is e2 so therefore e net at a point c is equals to e2 plus e4 e2 field due to one charge is given by 2q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square plus here also it is due to 2 into see already here due to single charge this is the field now here 2q is there therefore 2q by 4 pi epsilon naught a square okay right so therefore now what is the value 2 into 2 4q 4q plus 2q 6q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught a square so this is the 